Tash. What's up, y'all? It's Screw the Rules Yu Gi Oh! here, and I got my boy Kevin Wu, who got first place at our locals tonight, posted at G Wu by Sam. Sam over here, being a G, a real one, holding it down. What deck did you play? Strikers. You play Striker? Bro, no. Engage came back. Engage no. came back. Guys, Engage came back. We were It's back! It's back! It's back! These are not facts. These dice are not facts. All right, what were the matches, bro? Uh, what is this round one, Strikers. Round two, Strikers. Round Wait, three. what? Yeah. Really? Yeah. The Mirror Match? Yeah. yeah strikers today? All right. It was really tough. I actually never played the Mirror Match before. He ain't lying. Oh, was it a tough grind? Yeah, it was so tough. I feel like if I didn't draw pretty well, I probably would have lost, but every game I could play, it wasn't like I was drawing really broken, but I was able to play every single game, so. Bro, bro, I heard you heard you did the kind of thing. Oh! Yeah. I'm not too proud of it. Lies! Lies! Hey, <laughs> win's a win! A win's a win! Yeah. Uh, a win's a win. Hopefully when I get more experience in the deck, I won't have to resort to that. Bruh. Uh, round three, Shadal. One of the toughest matchups. I honestly can't believe I won that. Bro, and then so. round four, I played against Salmon Great. Ooh, okay. Um, it was basically back and forth. Okay, but you still took it overall. All yeah. right. <laughs> Show us that spice. Show us yeah. the main, bro. What what uh, spicy tech is this? So Sky three Ray, playing. obviously. Ray's and then bang. the controversial part already. One rose. So everyone, everyone hates this card. My boy James says this card sucks, but you need it. Yes. <laughs> of course! Basically, uh, a quick sneak peek would be, if you were playing Desires, you can't play one rose. I'm actually not playing Desires, so that's why I play one rose. She doesn't work defensively as well as Ray. She doesn't float. So honestly, she doesn't have that much danger of the deck. She's just here because Dragoons is auto win versus this deck. Uh, on top of that, you sometimes just want you just need to play uh, every single game because we only have one engage, so uh, sometimes just a normal summon uh, rose is good enough. Ooh, okay, okay, but that's why for the one. Yeah, next is the hand traps. Ash. Oh, and we play a ton, don't we? Yeah. Bell. Baylor. Ooh, Baylor's back. Crow. Oh, sh and My favorite, Fantasmic. Okay, wait, why? Look, how much is 3, 6, 9, 15. 12? God damn! Dude, do you just not want your opponent to play? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, so, and I, I'm not gonna lie to you, Ghost Bell, this format is nuts. Yes, it's pretty cracked. Uh, I took a lot of inspiration from uh, some striker decks that topped recently, uh, but Phantasmia is really strong because essentially this is actually a going first striker deck. So, Ooh, not going second here, boys. No, we just want to use a bunch of hand traps to stop our opponents. So if we draw like Phantasmia or another card I'm about to show, uh, we go first, and then they can't kill us through Phantasmic because it'll draw all these hand traps, right? All of these hand traps can be used regardless if I have monsters or not. So they have to kill me through my striker spells and all of these guys. So it's really, really strong. On top of that, uh, all these are really strong into the mirror match. I was going to play Nibiru, but uh, yeah, I just didn't want to be caught with a bad hand trap in the mirror. For the strike, for the spell. Oh, there she is. Wait, wait, stop. There she is. She's <laughs> back, boys. Yeah. She is back. The reason why everyone flooded the market. Yeah, the three strongest spells engage. Good God. Hornet drones. So, how many times did oh. this get DD crowed? Once. <laughs> Once? Okay, so it actually happened. <laughs> I was very greedy and. You want to draw two, bro. Yeah, I want to. Two. I want to engage twice on uh, <laughs> one turn, but I got crowed, so I was like. You got me, bro. <laughs> mm, yep, feels but bad. Always, always Shizuki and Face uh, do it. The deck was somewhat playable without Engage, so like... Uh, without Engage, it's, it basically just reverts back to its old self, where you're killing uh, everyone with your, your Sharks and your, your Widow Anchors. Jesus. Yeah, Widow Anchors at 3. Yeah. Oh my god. So here are the... These spells are the ones that are quick play, that are interactive with opponents. Man. Um, Shark isn't... That strong right now. Maybe we can play three of it if Drytron gets really popular, but right now it's okay at two because it's kind of awkward to draw it to a salvage boards. Um, yeah, and, and because of multi roll, you can have this in rotation really easily. Uh, that's, pre that's pretty pretty much it. Oh, uh, I guess, and then the bad reason why is because I only own two Germans. <laughs> uh, I, I would play three if I had three Germans. Ooh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Solo flex. And so I'll be German. Yeah. 
the one-offs. This says afterburners to, uh, targets a monster, and then if I have three spells, I can destroy a spell or trap. Oh, shit, this okay. one targets a set spell or trap. If I have three spells, I can destroy a monster. So that's the, oh, okay. Yeah, Wait, then, so they just... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then this one makes it so the targeted monster uh, is unaffected by opponent card effects, and with three spells, it can't be destroyed by battle. So that's really important for your... Oh, that says you live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it also helps you connect your uh, access code. Oh, true, true, yeah. true. Yeah, you're killing them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then two field spell. Yep. I don't yep. really want to break on three. I sometimes want to play three because you just want to be able to play uh, with strikers as much as possible. If you brick, it's really hard to come back, especially if your opponent's deck is like man, really strong. Man, how do you brick with one engage, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then your power spells, tear forming. Yes. And uh, I actually don't play Upstart in this. I want to play Upstart, but it conflicts with the next card that I'm going to show, which is Pot of Prosperity. <laughs> Whoa, 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 I need you to stop right there. A yeah. lot of people, well, uh, the good striker players are yeah. like, gotta play Prosperity. But then there's yeah. some people who are like, but then you can't activate Engage. Yeah, well, Prosperity actually doesn't really conflict with Engage that much. Um, the awesome part about Prosperity is it allows you to play every single turn, because you dig so far into oh. your with that. Um, on top of that, if you have Engage and Prosperity, with Engage already, you're, you're already so far ahead, so it doesn't even matter that those two can conflict. Um, thirdly, uh, Prosperity helps me dig into my favorite card. In the main deck. Oh, Shira. you main this? Yeah. Uh, we're not, we're How many times? Yeah. Oh my god, you actually versed the mirror. That's yeah. insane. Get this is right maxi now. for what people <laughs> That's from main deck or graveyard. <laughs> so, it's pretty much game versus almost every single deck. And pretty much with Prosperity, I can dig into these guys. So, if they keep trying to kill me, then I'll start drawing into my hand traps, and yeah. that'll be very hard for them to play. My gosh, this man's just like, yeah. we're gonna grind him out, resource yeah. him out, and I'm, I'm winning. And then, uh, I don't play Desires, because I'm going first. Mm -hmm. um, if I were to play Desires, I would want to go second. But Desires yeah, is kind of okay. awkward in this deck now, because there's so much one-ups. I'll have to change the deck drastically. <laughs> With Prosperity, you can grind so well. You always just get a power card. And then True. post side, this is really powerful too. Is that it for the main? Yeah. Uh, All right. No, no traps, no floodgates. No. <laughs> no floodgates. We don't we don't need mine, we don't need traps. Oh no, that's right. Uh shout out to our magician girl as always. So pretty. <laughs> uh Escher deck, two Hayates. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wish I had a third, but our poke and foolish. Yeah, but because I don't play mine, the Hayate cheese isn't that relevant. Um, and I play Axis Code Talker, so two Hayate is enough to kill them. Thank you, Kevin, for not playing mine. That's why he's the goat. The goat. Civilized Yu-Gi-Oh player. Uh, three uh, Kagari. Uh, don't look at these two; they're not born. <laughs> <laughs> but three, I have three. Gotcha. Because we want to get engage. Uh, three Shizuku. And then we want to search engage. Yeah. Uh, kinda, oh, there it is. And when I'm going to time, unfortunately, have to banish six to uh, play as much spells as possible. To yep, yep, kill. yep. Uh, Zeke, so powerful, actually. So, really? Yeah. Uh, what does Zeke do? Uh, the main important part about Zeke is that it requires two monsters. So when you shark cannon or uh, widow anchor some of your opponent's monsters, you just turn them into Zeke. And then you can link down with Zeke into one of these guys. Oh, but okay. On summon, Zeke uh, targets a face up monster on your opponent's side and then banishes until the end of their oh, turn. It's kind of cool because you can out boss monsters like Window. Window actually kind of hurts his deck. So when you yeah. out the Window, you can actually kill them through that with the widow anchors and sharks. Oh, I beat um, Shadows today. Got it, okay. Uh, then Gearsu and Dragoon out. Phoenix, yep. Never summoned this guy once, but I Guess what, Kevin? I did. Shut your stupid Dragoon is so broken. I got Dragoon once today, but bricked Shit. so hard. So okay, I kinda summoned this guy so I just scooped him immediately. This I also never summoned it today, so but I never wanted to call about it because if I get Imperial Ordered or Anti Spell Fragrance. Oh yeah, you want that out. Yeah. That was yeah. the whole point. Just yeah. freaking get I, that I, I wish I had Hita, but there's no room. Okay. And then is that the it? last luck. Last package is these three. They basically just tutor each other. These three, uh, they're basically just kill cards. Fiverr gets you Selene, Selene goes into Exus Code Talker. That's pretty much it. Dope. Yeah. If I had Hida, then Hida can also go into no. Selene. Alright, and that's it for that shit? Yeah, 15. Alright, let's get into the spicy side deck, bro. They get you. They got you the win today. Yeah. Let's shout, see. Let's shout out Dark Magician Girl. Absolutely. Oh, you got the. Oh, Santa. Yes. Yeah. Please uh, sit on me. No! Side deck. 
Nibiru? Nibiru is so broken because if I'm going first, my shared eye can draw into this. So if they try to overextend and kill me, then they'll just get nipped. Yep. Uh, vice versa, if I'm going second and I phantasmate them, it can help me draw into Nibiru. Guys, this says salad goes, just dies. Yes. <laughs> what else we got? Drychon can't play. Nope. Yes, bro, I love this card. Yeah. Again, this Drytron is so powerful. We just get yeah, rip any two Drytrons in grave. Yeah. yeah, and then back row destruction, two twins. My three twins. gosh, you Possibly just hate turn. back row. Well, I can't play when they anti spell fragrance yeah, me or uh, Imperial yeah. Order, so you need. Chainable cards. Yeah, so if I have Duster and then it is anti spell fragrance, then that card's down. So that's pretty much it. Then the last card for going first is different dimension ground. Ooh, you're that's I like this. That this card's insane actually. Basically, yeah, so with uh, shared ride and this, I have six cards that I can dig really far with prosperity. And those cards are really powerful versus a lot of combo decks. So like mm -hmm. versus Drytron, you don't want to go second versus them. You just want to flip this in his inner turn and then play like that. Because you just want to stall. You want to stall them and and just stop them however you want. So you just you just float them out. But going first is it's kind of fun. It makes this little mirror match kind of at least playable because in a mirror match you you always make your your striker opponent go first. But with my share ride, so they make me go first. At least I can make them pass turn. And then with all my shark hands and little anchors, I can just start using their cards. So about somebody in my own. True. Yep. All right, Kevin, do you got any shout outs, bro? Uh, shout out my friends, Stan Bosky. Yeah. Sell the boy. Wu Tang. Boy. Hector also went undefeated with me. Unacceptable. Shout out Gamers World. Yeah, shout out Gamers World, bro. Yeah. Uh, and then shout out to my friend Jose. He doesn't play Yu Gi Oh! but he told me to play this. Um, I showed him a picture of Diviner and Ray, and he chose Ray, so <laughs> <laughs> she took it all the way. That's what she said! <laughs> yeah, she did. Alright, y'all. It's Screw the Rules Yu Gi Oh! And we're out. Peace. Congratulations, Kevin. Search. Wanna talk about numbers? But you manage to buy and swipe shows, so bummy ain't nobody out now that can touch us.